Welcome back, everybody. Ready for another deep dive? Always. Today, we're looking at Dyadic. Um, they're a biotech company. And yeah, they're doing some pretty cool stuff with protein production. Mm -hmm. We've got their Q3 2024 earnings call transcript. Oh, cool. And uh, it's really interesting. It's a glimpse into their goals and achievements. And I mean, they're working across human and animal health, right. food, and even like global health challenges. Exactly. So, I mean, they're making proteins, but yeah. why is that such a big deal? Well, because proteins are like the building blocks of, yeah. well, practically everything. Right. Of course. Yeah. Like think about medicines, mm. food, mm. and even like industrial processes. Okay. Yeah. And dyadic is finding ways to make them yeah. better, faster, and more affordably. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. So uh, their revenue increased by like 300% in Q3. Wow. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah. So what's driving that kind of growth? Well, they've got kind of a two-pronged approach. So they're doing licensing deals to get revenue quickly. Right. But then they're also developing their own products so. for long-term success. Mm -hmm. And they have a lot of different revenue streams, huh. like licensing collaborations, all sorts of things. Oh, so they're not putting all their eggs in one basket. Exactly. Yeah, that's a really smart business strategy. So the transcript mentions these platforms uh -huh. called Dapi Busset and C1. Oh, yeah. What are those all about? They sound pretty high tech. They're basically Dyadic's proprietary protein production platforms. Okay. Dapi Busset is focused on alternative proteins, high value stuff like human albumin, transferrin, DNase one. Wow. Even dairy protein. Hold on. So you're saying they can make milk without cows? Yeah, basically. They can produce dairy proteins without the cow. That's incredible. So what does that mean for people? Well, it's great for anyone who can't have dairy. Okay. Yeah, you know, like if you're lactose intolerant or vegan. Right. Or yeah. worried about the environment. So it could make the food industry more sustainable. Yeah. And accessible. Okay, that's super cool. So Dapibos is for food. Yeah. What about C1? That's focused on biopharmaceuticals. Okay. They use it to produce vaccines, uh -huh. antibodies, wow, all that good stuff. So we're talking about like medicines and treatments that people really need. Exactly. They're really focused on making a difference. Well, they're working with some big names in pharma too. Yeah, they are. What are they working on together? So one collaboration that stands out is with Virovax. Okay. They're developing vaccines for things like avian flu and mpox. You know, I've been seeing a lot about avian flu in the news. Yeah, it's a big concern. Seems like it could be a real problem. Yeah, for sure. So how big of a deal is it that they're working on a vaccine for that? Well, it's really important because H5 bird flu right. is spreading fast. Yeah. And people are worried it could jump to humans. And that would be bad. Yeah, like a pandemic. So a vaccine would be really helpful. Extremely. And they're using this really interesting technology, mm -hmm. ferret nanoparticles. <laughs> and it's showing a lot of promise. Wow. So they're not just tackling this major health threat. Right. They're doing it with cutting edge technology. Exactly. Okay. So it's not just avian flu, right? Right. And they're also working on other antibodies and antigens. Yeah. They're working with a couple of top 10 pharmaceutical companies. Really? And a leading biotech firm. Wow. To develop antibodies for digestive health mm -hmm. and antigens for some tough diseases like HPV and HIV. Okay. So now I'm a little lost. Can we back up for a sec? Sure. What are antibodies exactly? So imagine your body is like a fortress. Okay. And it's constantly under attack. By like bacteria and viruses. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So antibodies are like your elite soldiers. Huh. They're trained to recognize and neutralize specific threats. Oh, wow. And antigens are kind of like the enemy's uniform. Okay. It's how the antibodies identify the invaders. So a vaccine shows your body the enemy's uniform. Yeah, you could say that. So it can be ready to fight the real thing. Exactly. Wow, that's really cool. So C1 is used to make those antibodies and antigens. That's right. And they're getting similar results yeah. to traditional methods, but potentially faster and cheaper. That's amazing. So it seems like they're really focused on making these treatments affordable yeah. for oh, everyone. Yeah, that's a big part of their mission. That's really cool. But we were talking about dairy alternatives earlier. Right. Are they just focused on pharmaceuticals or are they doing other things too? Oh, they're doing all sorts of things. Remember Dapibus? Yeah. They're using that platform to target the albumin market. The what market? Albumin. It's projected to be worth billions. Wow. By 2030. Okay, so what's albumin used for? It's actually used in a ton of different things. Really? Like therapeutics, mm -hmm. cell culture, mm. media, okay. diagnostics, 
even things like nutraceuticals. It's more than just for bodybuilders then. Yeah, it's a really versatile protein. Okay, so they're working in the lab, Andy, thinking about what people want to eat right. and what medicines they need. That's a cool combo. It is. And what about the animal-free dairy market? Oh yeah, they're doing that too. How are they doing that? Microbial fermentation. Hmm. It's a way to make things like milk and cheese yeah. without any animals involved. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it appeals to a lot of people. Definitely. So it seems like they're really tapping into all these new trends yeah. and becoming leaders in a bunch of different industries. They really are. They're not just scientists. Right. They're entrepreneurs too. For sure. They really understand the science in the market. Okay. So we've covered a lot. We have. From avian flu vaccines to animal-free dairy. Mm-hmm. Dyadic is clearly a company on the move. Definitely. But let's zoom in on their work in human health. Okay. And vaccine development. Sounds good. They launched so many vaccine and antibody projects in 2024. I know. It's impressive. It's like they're tackling all the world's diseases. Pretty much. They're going after COVID-19, mm -hmm. avian flu, mm -hmm. mpox, HPV, wow. HIV, yeah. malaria. Amazing RSV. And the report mentioned they were successful with some monoclonal antibodies. Yes. Can you explain why that's so important? Okay, so monoclonal antibodies are like yeah. guided missiles for your immune system. Target very specific things. Hmm. Pathogens or like disease-causing agents. And they can treat all kinds of conditions. Like what? Cancer, autoimmune diseases, all sorts of things. So how are they made? Well, traditionally, it's been a really complicated process. Okay. And really expensive. Uh, but Dyadic's C1 platform can potentially do it yeah. just as well, but faster and cheaper. That's incredible. It could make these treatments available to so many more people. It's amazing how science can have such a direct impact it really is. on people's health. Yeah. And it seems like Dyadic is really committed to affordability. They are. And global health equity. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's inspiring to see. They want to make sure everyone has access to these technologies. Regardless of where they live or how much money they have. Exactly. They're working with nonprofits and governments, too. Yeah, and they're really leveraging their C1 platform okay. to make it happen. So it's not just about developing the technology. No. It's about making sure it gets to the people who need it. That's right. Okay, well, let's talk about the business side of things for a second. Okay. What did they say about their financials? Well, besides the 300% revenue increase. Yeah. They stress their commitment to a fiscal responsibility. Okay. They're being really strategic mm -hmm. about their investments. So they're not just throwing money at every project. No, they're focusing on projects that are likely to succeed. That makes sense. And have a good return. So they're thinking long term. Definitely. That's good to hear. They understand they need to be sustainable. Yeah. To keep investing in research and development. So it's not just about the breakthroughs. It's about turning those breakthroughs into a successful business. Exactly. They're proving you can be scientifically ambitious yeah. and financially responsible. And their success benefits their partners too. Oh, absolutely. All those pharmaceutical companies and nonprofits. They're really creating a ripple effect. It sounds like Dyadic has a really bright future. They do. But what are some of the challenges they might face? Well, one challenge is scaling up production Okay. to meet demand. That makes sense. Yeah. As they grow, they'll need to produce more. Exactly. But they can't compromise on quality right. or efficiency. So it's a balancing act. It is. And what about competition? Oh, yeah. There's a lot of competition I bet. in biotech and biopharma. So they'll need to stay ahead of the game. Right. They need to keep innovating mm -hmm. and protect their intellectual property. So no resting on their laurels. Nope. They've got to keep pushing forward. Well, it seems like they're up to the challenge. I think so too. They're smart and they're dedicated. They've got a great combination of scientific skills, yeah. business sense, and a real desire to make a difference. Well, we've learned a lot about Dyadic today. We have. They're really doing some groundbreaking work. Yes. But before we wrap things up, yeah. I want to leave our listeners with a question. So with all these advancements in protein production, what else could be possible? I mean, what other innovations are just around the corner? Well, yeah, it's hard to say, but it's pretty exciting to think about. We're really just starting to understand the power of protein engineering mm -hmm. and biomanufacturing. So like what kind of things are we talking about? Well, imagine like personalized medicine. Okay. Tailored to your specific genes Whoa. or new materials with crazy properties. Mm -hmm. We could even engineer plants yeah. to produce vaccines. Plants making vaccines. It's possible. 
That sounds like sci-fi. You know, right? <laughs> but if anyone can do it, it's probably dyadic. They've definitely proven they're not afraid to push boundaries. Exactly. They're not satisfied with the way things are. Mm -hmm. They want to create the future. It's really inspiring to see. It gives me a lot of hope for the future. Me too. So to sum it all up. Yeah. Dyadic is definitely a company to watch. Absolutely. They're using these amazing protein platforms mm -hmm. to make a real difference in a lot of different areas. They are. And they're not just doing it for profit. Right. They're trying to solve real problems. Exactly. They care about human and animal health. Yeah. Food security and global health equity. It's really impressive. It is. Well, it's been an awesome deep dive. I agree. Thanks for breaking it all down for us. My pleasure. It's amazing how much we learned about dyadic today. Yeah, they're doing some fascinating work. I can't wait to see what they do next. Me neither. And to all our listeners out there, yeah. thanks for joining us on this deep dive. Hope you learned something new. We'll be back soon with another one. Stay curious, everyone. Until then, keep exploring. Do you want a deep dive podcast like this? Contact Bull Run by Charlie Devanzo.